Hello and welcome to the fifth video in this series Programming a Tile Puzzle Game for beginners using Cocos 2D and iOS on the iPad. So in the last video we had, well the last couple of videos, quite a detailed look at the template provided by Cocos 2D and also a quick look at what the director is, scenes are and layers are, so how an application is built. And now we'll start in this video and the next actually putting in the basic structure for our tile puzzle game. So first thing I want you to do is take the hello world layer header and implementation files, so the h, .h and .hm files out by selecting them, right clicking, selecting delete and move to trash to permanently consign them to somewhere else apart from our project. And now what we want to do is think about how our game was structured. And as it's a tutorial for complete beginners it'll be very simple and we'll have one scene and this scene will have two layers on it. One's a background layer that will show the board and one is a gameplay layer which will show the tiles and the buttons. So let's right click on tile tutorial and new file and make sure that down the left hand side here you've got Cocos 2D selected and the CC node class is the template that we want and this will be a subclass of CC scene and we shall call this the game scene create finish and it should add a game scene dot h you can see here it's a subclass of cc scene and it'll add game scene dot m so what we need now is we need to tell the app delegate to actually run our game scene at the moment it's still trying to run the intro layer scene so in this import statement here, change this to gain scene.h and down on the line where the director is trying to push a scene from the intro layer, if you remember this static scene method, we'll replace this with run with scene and we'll put in game scene space node. And you remember that node simply allocates the object and then calls the init INIT, so the initialization function on that class. So we're at the state now where already we're actually running our scene. We're not showing anything or doing anything but we're running our scene. And the next thing we need to do inside the implementation is we actually need to implement this initialization, so the INIT func function that's called when we call the node. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the ID of our class by calling from the, the initialization of the superclass which will return the ID of this class and assuming that that's worked we sell if self is not equal to nil so everything is initialized then we're free then now that everything in the parent class is initialized to start doing the initialization that we want to do in our class so here what we'll do is we'll add the layers and I'll just leave that as a, com a comment now and the last thing we need to do is return self. The next thing we need to do is we, in this video, are going to add our background layer. And to do that, we need to right click on Tile Tutorial and New File and make sure it's a CC Node class again and click Next. And this time it's going to be a subclass of CC Layer and click Next. And now name this background layer and click create and now we've got our background layer so we've got our header class which is inheriting or subclass of CC layer and our background layer and also for the background layer we're going to need to add an initialization and we're going to copy and paste exactly the same initialization function that we've put in for our game scene there skeleton except we're going to remove Instead of add layers, we're going to say add images, etc., which is what we'll be doing inside here. And we'll save. And the last thing we need to do in this video is now go back to the game scene and actually add this background layer onto our game scene. So the way we do that is actually really simple. At the top of the file, we just need to import the header for our background layer. And then down here, we can, whoops, I've left a space there. Right down here, we can say background layer and we'll call it BG layer equals and again, we'll call the node which allocates and then calls the init function on that object. 
So now we've made a, created a background layer object, we simply need to call the game scenes or the CC scene, CC scene available method called add child. So we need to say self add child and then we can add our background layer and we can also give it a z index like I did in the last video, I talked about in the last video and we'll give this a z index of zero. And that's all there is to it. So we've very simply created a game scene. We've told the app delegate to start this game scene by calling the node method, which causes an allocation and then this init function to be called. We've created a background layer, also with its init method, but it doesn't actually do anything yet, well, there's, apart from initialize all of the parent classes. And this background layer is then added as a z index of naught to our game scene. Now I won't run the application at the moment because it won't actually show anything because there's nothing to show. But in the next video we'll actually add the board then to this background layer. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.